In the U.S., we're in the midst of this transition in wireless to 5G. It's the next generation of connectivity. Building out and upgrading our networks can add a half a trillion dollars to the U.S. economy and bring benefits to communities across the country. In this job, I've had the chance to get outside of Washington and see the tough work, the often gritty work that it takes to actually build out this next generation infrastructure. I've had the chance to spend time with a lot of tower climbers uh, and workers in the tower industry. Uh, one of them is Sean Murray, who works with Above All Tower. And we wanted to recognize you as the first recipient uh, of our 5G Ready hard hat to thank you for the work you're doing to bring connectivity to communities around the country. I thought maybe you could start by telling us a bit about how you got into the tower industry in the first place. So I was a firefighter paramedic and chief medical officer. I did that for 16 years. Um, an opportunity arose where uh, my husband and I were able to uh, climb a 911 tower and uh, they couldn't get a crew out there for a couple of weeks. And so they knew that we had experience in Heingel rescue and ropes right. and rappelling. And so we took the opportunity, climbed the tower. We were able to get them back in service and then they started calling us back. Right. And then, of course, they, they referred us to a fire department and a radio station. Right. And so from there, we decided, well, this would be a great part-time opportunity. And so um, little did I know that this was going to become a long-term opportunity. Um, did it part-time for probably five to seven years. And then after that, uh, decided to form a legitimate business. Um, and that was seven years ago in August. And um, so we've come a long way since then. Yeah, that's so. great. So your background as a professional firefighter, paramedic, prepared you for a lot of the physical tasks needed to be a tower climber. I was in very good shape at the time, and I could keep up with the guys. Yeah. Um, I've been in burning buildings, uh, rescued people out of buildings, and so very well in shape, and I was able to uh, take to the job very nicely. Yeah. So. One of the things we're excited about with this build out of 5G infrastructure is the job story. I mean, these are good paying, solidly middle class jobs to work as tower climbers. Uh, in your experience, one of the things that we're interested in, how do we expand opportunities for women uh, in this space? And you work with an organization, the Women of Nate, that is working to promote opportunities for women in tower climbing and the tech industry generally. Can you talk a little bit about your work with the Women of Nate? So women, I think, have to be approached in a different manner. Um, I think over the years, um, we've, we've kind of gotten overlooked a little bit. And so um, they have to feel like this is something that they can, they can do. Um, we have to let them know when they're young girls that this is something that they can do. Right. Um, the opportunity is there. There are so many jobs out there. And um, I think if you start with the high schools, um, junior, junior high school, high school, and uh, technical colleges, and you promote this as a career opportunity to boys and girls alike. So a few months ago, we were here in my office and we were talking about how do we create this pipeline of 5G workers. And one of the ideas that we talked about there was leaning on community college programs to help give people the training they need to move into this space. Uh, a few weeks ago then, uh, you and I were in South Carolina at a community college that has one of those programs in place, and now we're working to expand that to more community colleges. Can you talk a bit about the role that you think community colleges can play in helping to move people into this space? Well, I think, first of all, a lot of people don't realize that a tower climber is a career. It's a legitimate yeah. career um, where you can travel, you can make a good salary, make a good wage, and you don't have to start off with a college education. At the federal level, we're seeing a real uptick in small cells and other internet infrastructure being built out. In 2017, for instance, there's about 13,000 small cells that went up. Last year, that number expanded to over 60,000. In terms of the trend lines that you're seeing at your company on the ground, is that consistent with what you're seeing, or how are things going for you? So our company does a lot of tower construction, mm -hmm. but from what I understand working with other companies, uh, the small cells are growing quite a bit, and that's something that we'd like to get into as well. Yeah. Um, we do a lot of tower builds where that is increasing in itself. Um, we have so much work that I actually have to turn work down because I don't have the workforce to uh, <clears throat> do complete the jobs. Right. So. Yeah. 
So we've talked about raising awareness of the good paying jobs in the tower industry, whether it's in colleges or all the way down to high school. What message would you deliver to people that are maybe in high school or young people and this isn't something that's on their radar at all that they should consider? I would say that um, it's another opportunity out there. Um, a college degree is not an option for everyone these days. Uh, a lot of people don't want to have the debt that comes along with going right. to college. And so this is something that you can get training in a short period of time and get out in the workforce and uh, have a great career, a lifelong career. So thank you again for all the work that you're doing to build out this infrastructure. Thank you for the work you're doing to promote opportunities for women in the tower and tech industry. Again, a lot of people assume that this infrastructure just gets put up and they have no idea how, but it's often tough work, it's gritty work. Really appreciate everything you're doing. We wanted to recognize you with a 5G ready hard hat uh, as a token of our appreciation to say thank you for the work you're doing. So we really appreciate it, thank you. Thank you, thank you for everything you do as well. Thanks. We appreciate it.